Reading from Psalms. How long, O O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because God has dealt bountifully with me. The word of life. Good evening. The focus of our Lenten meditations has been lament. This evening we consider individual lament. Lament is bringing before God our unhappiness, our complaints, our discomforts. We do this because pain is a part of life and God wants to be involved in all of our lives, the pleasant parts and the painful parts. We cry out to God in our pain and God hears us. I'd like to tell you about my personal practice of lament. I meditate with a Buddhist group every morning at 8 o'clock on Zoom. We log on a few minutes before 8 and chat until 8 o'clock. Then we meditate silently for half an hour. Then someone who's volunteered to be the host that day reads a poem or something from a book, and we discuss it. Our discussion lasts for 15 minutes, so at 8.45, we're done, and we log off. During this 30 minutes of meditation, I often bring my laments to God. Well, really, I always bring my laments to God. Although I sometimes meditate on the good things in my life, and sometimes I do centering prayers, I usually lament. There's a reason for that. There are some real benefits from bringing our attention to the painful things in our lives. Often we don't want to think about the painful things in our lives because they are obviously painful. But pain that is not addressed tends to be repressed and surfaces in ways that we may not like. For example, let me tell you something about my mother-in-law. She had the painful experience of feeling that she wasn't a very valuable person. I suspect she learned that she was not very valuable from the way she was treated in her childhood. And she never really came to grips with this pain in herself. It manifested itself in the way that she treated her children. From her unkind treatment, my husband, now ex-husband, learned that he was not very valuable. Her unexamined pain came out in ways that hurt the people that she loved. By the practice of lament, we can face our pain and move towards resolving pain. We can short circuit that process by which our unexamined pain is expressed in unkindness towards others. So let me tell you what my lamenting looks like. I have a clock in my house that ticks loudly. During my 30 minutes of meditation, I breathe in for six seconds while I listen to the clock tick and count along to six. Then I breathe out for six seconds. As I breathe in, I say a sentence to myself, and as I breathe out, I repeat that sentence. Then on the next breath of six seconds, I move on to a different sentence. To give you an example, um, I will tell you that The three most important relationships in my life have been my relationship to my son, Paul, my relationship to my husband, Steve, and my relationship to my mother, Bonita. All three of those relationships have ended badly. My son cut off contact with me nine years ago and didn't really tell me what that was about. I'm divorced from Steve, and my relationship to my mother was never very good. I felt rejected by all those people, and I also felt verbally attacked by Bonita. So my lament goes like this. As I breathe in, I say to myself, it really hurts that Paul is rejecting me. And then as I breathe out, I repeat, it really hurts that Paul is rejecting me. 
On the next breath, I say to myself, as I breathe in, it really hurts that Steve rejected me. And as I breathe out, it really hurts that Steve rejected me. And then, um, the in breath, it really hurt when Von Eder rejected and attacked me. And on the out breath, I repeat, it really hurt that Von Eder rejected and attacked me. Then when I've done that, I start over again with Paul and go through the sentences again. I usually do this 20 times or more, really as much time as the issue seems alive in me. Sometimes it can be 40 times or more. This lament helps me really focus on the pain that these three relationships have brought to my life. I don't feel that this focus on negative things makes me depressed. It feels like I'm honoring the pain and dealing with it. I don't know how long this lament will be part of my meditation, but the pain is pretty deep, so it'll probably be a while. I would encourage you to create your own laments in this fashion. You could sit quietly and breathe deeply, sit with your spine erect, but the rest of your body relaxed. Ask yourself what's causing you emotional pain in your life. Now, my experience is doing this with emotional pain, but you could just as easily do this with physical pains. Create a sentence that expresses exactly the way that this pain feels to you, something that's compelling. As you breathe in, say that sentence to yourself, and as you breathe out, repeat that sentence. Then you could stick with this one sentence if it really expresses what you're trying to say, or you could move on to another sentence about that same pain. Alternately, you could consider something else that's painful in your life. And as you breathe in, repeat a sentence about that, and as you breathe out, the sentence again. Create as many sentences as you need to really tell God what's going on in your life. I would say that you could spend 10 minutes doing this, or even 20 or 30, repeating these sentences. You might want to alternate your lament with affirmations. For example, I often use the sentence, I'm a precious child of God, in my meditation. Sometimes I think I might use the affirmation, not all my relationships will end badly. There are many examples in the books of, of Psalms of laments that have lamenting sprinkled in with other kinds of statements. So let's take a moment right now, and I challenge you to think of something painful in your life that needs to be brought before God. Think of something, and think of something that, um, that's, that feels alive in you. Take a moment to do that. Consider making a lament out of that idea and bringing it to God in prayer. God wants to walk with us in our pain. God hears us when we cry out. Lament can be good for our emotional health and can bring us closer to God. Amen.